Good evening, Oakley School District, or at least Oakley teachers and staff. This is a quick video, the how-to on team drives that I just emailed you about this evening. I gave you some use cases within that email of where you might want to use team drives. Realize that team drives right now is only open for teachers. That doesn't mean you can't make your students a member of a team drive, but they cannot um, create them. Um, and I have to qualify it allowed me to start adding some of our students on there, but I do not have team drives open for students. So we'd wanna check out if they can actually still um, become a member of that. I know high school probably can, possibly middle school, um, but I don't know all the details about team drives, all the ins and outs. It's something we're gonna to have to kind of play with, but I just wanted to give you a quick inter overview of what you might be seeing in your new Google Drive and possibly some ins and outs of it if you want to start testing it or start using it for like your clubs or maybe your building level or just different reasons you might want to team drive where you want to share stuff um, with your members. So first thing is, is if you are, I'm on a Chromebook right now, it doesn't matter if you're in your Chromebook or if you're on your MacBook, if you have your Google Drive opened up, you may have to hit the refresh button to be able to see team drives. I did just turn this on this afternoon, so you may not see this populated right away if it's still cached in the old Google Drive without team drives being, being showed. So that's the first step. The next thing is if I click on my team drives, you are gonna see that right now um, I have one team drive. This is a team drive that I have created. Now, if somebody had added me a member of another team drive, I would see every drive that I was either a member or that I created. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the Oakley USD um, Technology Committee drive. So you'll notice at the top that you can actually change the same theme. So you can kind of tell that the background up here kind of changed. That should tell you that you're in that team drive. The name of it is up here. You'll notice there's a drop down menu. I could actually go in and rename that. And actually, any member, if I've given them full rights, can go in and do that. You'll notice that I can add members from here right away. So, again, you'll probably want to test this out. I know that, that Corey Hawkersmith is, is one of our students that's part of our technology committee. I think I can add him and that he'll be able to see the team drive. Um, but I'm not 100% sure on that. So we'll want to qualify that and kind of test that out. But if he was able to see this, you notice that I can give him certain access to this drive. Um, and that means all of the documents or folders in here, I can give him certain access to those documents. Full rights means that he can manage members. He could upload, edit, and delete any of the files within this team drive. Now, if I change his access, I could give him edit access, which is what all of my members have in the uh, USD technology committee. They can edit all the files and they can upload new files. They cannot delete it and that they cannot manage members. If I give them comment access only, that means they can comment on any files that's within that team drive, or I could give them view access only. And I'm thinking about like if we had a faculty team drive, Joelle probably wouldn't want people being able to comment on the requisition or maybe to even edit the requisition. She probably, if we have a faculty drive that we're dropping stuff in there, we probably want to give those members, uh, most of them anyway, only view access because we want them to be able to open up the requisition, make their own copy, but not to be able to edit the copy that's in that team drive. So that's how you give the members different rights to the documents and folders that are within that team drive. The only difference really from sharing a folder or a file is you're giving member access versus file access only or folder access. The next thing is, is when I in, added my members to the technology committee team drive, I skipped sending the notifications so they didn't receive an email about it. They're just automatic members um, and they should be able to see the team drive if they click on it. So I'm gonna cancel this. Um, I can manage members from here, but I'm gonna do that from that drop down menu. So from that drop down menu, I can manage my members. So this is like if Joelle had created a faculty uh, team drive, if she wanted to start dropping documents and stuff in there, 
she would want to come in here and say, okay, Dina Dellery, she's a member, but she really doesn't need full access to this team drive. I'm just going to give her view only access. Now, since I am Dina Dellery and I have full access, I could actually remove myself or remove any other members. Chris Robin only has edit rights, but maybe um, Chris, because of other things going on, only really needs comment access, view access, or maybe I need to remove her because next year she's maybe not a member of our technology committee. Maybe the um, maybe she decided not to, to become a member next year. So that's all about managing members. And again, you can add them right from here as well. The next thing in that drop down menu is you can change the theme. That is this little gray part up here. I just went by default what that theme was. I didn't change it, but you can just like you could in many other things we do with Google. And again, I could rename it. If somebody accidentally put something into the trash, I could actually view what's in the trash of this team drive. So right now I have a folder in this team drive and I just organize most of my documents by the year. So if I double click on this folder, I've dropped a bunch of documents. Now, when I did this, it actually removed it from my drive because I actually have a folder in my drive. If I click down here, I have a folder called technology committee. And what's kind of cool about this technology committee is again, I go by year in my folders is I've got files in here and you're going to notice because I'm going to pull them over to this team drive and I'm going to pull it into that folder that when I do that, it actually disappears out of this folder in my drive and moves to the team drive. So I'm going to click on this guiding document and all I do is just drag it over here to this folder within the team drive. And again, you're going to see that it just completely disappeared out of this folder that I had in my drive and went into the team drive instead. There's that guided document. So now the other thing that you're going to notice about that, so I'm going to go back up here to 2016, is that Michelle Renner had actually shared a document with everyone in the technology committee and I added that to my Google Drive in that folder so I had easy access to it. Now if I pull that one over, it's going to give me a, more, a warning and it says moving items into a T-Drive team drive affects access and ownership. All members of the Oakley USD Technology Committee will be able to access items. Items will be owned by the Oakley USD Technology Committee. What I found interesting is that because I had added this to my drive, I actually had access to be able to pull that over. Now, because I don't know all the ins and outs of Team Drive yet, I probably would want to ask permission of Michelle before I did that. So that's one thing we want to investigate as well. Going back over here to Team Drive. Um, I'm going to go back here to the main root of that Team Drive. Again, you're going to notice that the new button is just like it would be in My Drive. You can click on it. You can add a folder. You can upload files. You can do a folder upload. Everything that you can do in My Drive, you have access to do the same thing in the Team Drive. It's just really how the membership or the ownership of those documents um, how that is controlled in, in a much easier way if we're wanting to share documents on a regular basis. So again, there's a lot of things we probably need to kind of vet out a little bit and kind of go over and kind of discuss maybe as teachers back and forth, but hopefully that's been helpful in terms of an overview.